and I'm back, yo. I'm back, yo. I'm back, and back, and I'm back, yo. <laughs> Hello, world, and welcome back to Sunshine in My Code. My name is Suahudi Mumatlapeng, and I'm going to be catching up with you about some of the really cool stuff that I've been up to for the past two months of not vlogging. <laughs> So, most of us have been a bit hectic with a lot of stuff going on personal-wise and actually career-related. And it's been really fun. Like, I think I've had a lot of growth and a lot of fun over the past two months. And the main reason I took a hiatus actually from vlogging was to prepare for the three-week workshop that we did with women developers. And we were teaching women how to code. It was a three-part series and we started them with HTML and CSS. And then we moved on to React.js. We got them to build their own Instagram clone app. It was pretty cool. I really enjoyed it. Um, the workshops were insanely crazy. So they ran on Saturdays from 8.30 to 5. So it was a full day training. And I just simply couldn't record or edit on the weekends simply because I was teaching like half the day and then facilitating the rest of the day. So I was super, super, super tired. Like my weekends were just gone. <laughs> but it was incredibly amazing. We actually recorded a video. The last video I uploaded on my YouTube channel was a video for the workshops, which was really satisfying and rewarding rewarding to do definitely enjoy that and definitely we'll be doing another series like that it may not be like three consecutive weeks like we did this time was super crazy but we might do something once a month um we really enjoyed organizing and putting together that series for the women who attended so if you want to find out more about the series and the workshops you should actually follow developer circles cape town on facebook or you can follow in donny space magazine on instagram so each of those like social media platforms should have information about when the next workshop is and you can look forward to that <laughs> Another thing that I did is super, super awesome. I don't like it's going to be hard to believe that I actually did it or that anyone would actually do it. But I ran a marathon. Can you believe it? Because I still don't. I still don't believe that I actually got up one day and I ran a marathon. It was like 42.2 kilometers. This was the San Lam Cape Town Marathon. It was really great. Um, it was a four, I, I ran for four hours and like 36 minutes, which I think was really good. Like, I can't believe I did it in less than five hours. Like, I think I was aiming for somewhere around that time and it was insane. Like, I think I've done, like the most I had done before it was 30 kilometers, which was the John Karasi race, which was also crazy. And after that, I was like, I don't think I could ever really actually run again. <laughs> But I somehow managed to convince myself to continue with the marathon. I mean, I had also paid for it. But look, look, see, look, see. I did it. I'm a marathon runner. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, actually, uh, to prepare for this marathon, I think I started running like a long... I've been running for a very long time. Like I just run because I really enjoyed it. So it's enjoyed. It's one of those things I really like just love being able to do. And so running this marathon for me was like, it was just the next big goal. Like I think I ran my first half marathon last year. Yes, I did. I remember my first half marathon, I was on my period and I was like, I'm never running a race ever again in my life. But then like after some time, I was like, I can keep going. I've got the strength. <laughs> and then followed by that was, um, I went to Dublin for a Facebook event. It was really great. Like it was my first time in Europe. Like in actually I'm going to Europe. The destination is Europe. I've had Europe layovers and I got to see Paris for a few hours, but this was the first actual, actual Europe trip that I went on was really fun i got to see dublin which was really great like people in dublin are so friendly like they are super 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 friendly like you know and like people are just like bubblesome and the way they like tell you you're pretty is really like it's not it doesn't feel like you know you're being harassed or you don't feel safe i really like that about dublin is the people are incredibly nice easy to get along with people will actually like talk to you make a conversation with you without this weird expectation like they're not gonna ask you for money or try to rob you <laughs> so yeah 
and then after Dublin I went to I was going to India for sci-fi and on the way to India I stopped by Dublin for a couple of days I had a layover so I actually just had a three I extended my layover I paid like an extra thousand bucks to have the trip like the my my connecting flight move by a few days and then I could see Dubai for a few days and let me tell you Dubai is an architectural haven like the place is it's ridiculous it's gorgeous it's 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 just unbelievable like that they would actually like you look at a lot of the architectural decisions that they made and you're like I mean I could have thought of that but I wouldn't have had the audacity to like actually do it yeah so it's really gorgeous there's like they've built like a whole marina there was no there's no actual natural marina in dubai they've actually built it and they've got water flowing from the ocean into it it's ridiculous they've built an island like they literally made their own island just so they could build a building on top of it and that building looks like a boat so it actually looks like you've got like a live like wow it, like it's Oh, oh my gosh like I think it's not like a place where you'll see natural beauty like South Africa where you'll see Table Mountain you'll see the green you'll go to Pumalanga or Bella Bella and you'll see all these like really beautiful natural side um, Dubai is like more of an architectural engineering beauty and then after my layover in Dubai I then went to India <laughs> um, India was it was like I think in Dubai, you see like zero poverty. They conceal it very well if it does exist. Like I'm still struggling to actually find it on the internet. Like if there are actually really poor people in Dubai who are residents of the United Emirates. But in India, it's like South Africa where you see it. You see people living in like the worst parts of society. You see homeless people. And then you see really like suburban like hotels like really beautiful parts like the suit i stayed at was ridiculous that whole place was just beautiful and that's like the thing about india it's like it's like south africa in that you get to see those huge contrasts like everywhere you go it's not like a first world country and um the reason i was in india was for a sci-fi conference which is the conference on technology security and society like people and I think this is probably one of my favorite tech conferences. And the reason for that is because it takes a real, like sci-fi takes a really realistic and honest look at how technology affects society, which is something like I don't see us doing enough of. I don't see the tech industry talking enough about how, you know, the technology we're creating and designing is really amazing. It has great potential for positive social impact, but it also has negative social impact. And we need to talk about that and we need to mitigate that. We can't be designing systems that assume that the best person will use it. We should always be cognizant of, you know, designing systems that can protect people, like the most fragile, unknowing person who will use the system should be protected from the worst person to potentially end up using the system which i think is a really important discussion and you know discussing it from legal and ethical perspectives and i think it was one of the very few actual developers there a lot of the attendants were policy makers entrepreneurs and a lot of journalists were actually talking about you know what tech companies are you know objectively doing as opposed to people who work in these companies and maybe don't really like you know when we talk about tech we eat our own sauce like we're drowning like literally we're drowning in our own sauce of like all these beautiful things that we're able to create and do but then we need to also be able to have harsh realistic and honest discussions about the impact that technology we make has on people and that's why i really thoroughly enjoyed this conference it was actually like one of the things that made it one of my favorite tech conferences ever so yeah that's that's me that's what i've been up to for the past two weeks traveling the world running marathons running the streets <laughs> and doing code workshops it's been really amazing oh and another thing i now picking up scholar i'm now a scholar developer i scholar has been very interesting i will say that especially because now i'm doing a lot of like every day i think i'm doing django react js and scholar i'm doing scholar like nine to five and then coming home and building my side projects in react and django 
and scala oh my gosh i'm still getting into it like having the only advantage is that i come from a strong java java background so scholars at least i'm not doing java like you know it's a very it's a syntactical language like i think when i started being a computer develop like a software developer i started learning quickly and then developing products like the thing about django and like react is that these are things that you can pick up relatively quickly and before you know it you're actually solving problems but with scala like the language itself is so syntactical that you actually have to take your time to fundamentally understand how the language works how concurrency works how threads work so that i can actually like understand how to use this language to solve problems so it's been slow but it's been good and i've been enjoying it and yeah that's what i've been up to been running the streets learning new stuff and doing workshops and traveling the world yeah hopefully i get to travel the world a little bit more it's always fun it's always exciting and i absolutely enjoy it if you guys if you want to take me anywhere i'm not gonna say no I'm not gonna stop you i will celebrate you and embrace you in every way take me everywhere <laughs> yeah thank you so much for watching sunshine in my code stay tuned to my channel stay tuned to find out more i'm looking forward to doing a bit more interesting technical stuff i think my next series is going to be on data structures I might also do some django stuff but i don't want to over promise let me just say you know i'm back to vlogging you will see my face again and that's that's the good news right let's stick to that thank you so much for watching sunshine in my code we'll see you in the next one